Industrial hoses can keep your processes safe and cost-effective. Because hose lends itself to convenient bending and routing, systems designers can eliminate many of the connectors required when using rigid materials. But improper installation undermines your process, puts people at risk, and compromises your bottom line. One of the most important parts of hose installation is proper routing. In this video, you'll learn best practices that should be followed when routing and installing your hoses. The leading cause of hose failures in the field is poor hose routing practices. The most common outcome of improper routing is kinking. Kinking is what happens when a material is bent beyond its elastic limit and is permanently deformed. If the hose core wall is damaged, the hose may no longer maintain its full working or burst pressure. The resulting leaks, ruptures, or bursts can be both costly and potentially dangerous. Kinking damage can occur for a few reasons, typically related to how the hose was installed and routed. First, the hose may have been routed without consideration of its minimum bend radius. Installing a hose with smaller bends than advised by the manufacturer can often lead to kinking and shortened hose life. Hose rupture or leakage may result from bending too close to the hose's end connection. It is recommended to allow a minimum straight length of hose that's at least two times the outer diameter before starting any bends. Next, excessive hose strain due to improper routing can also lead to kinking or other failure modes. For example, if a hose comes out of a wall or fitting horizontally, gravity will constantly pull down and bend the hose at the end connection. Over time, this can damage the hose. Elbows and adapters should be used to reduce hose strain from a connection point. It's common for hoses to be installed without elbows and adapters as a perceived cost savings, but in the long run, eventual hose failure will become much more costly. In dynamic applications, excess motion can cause a hose to kink if the hose is the wrong length for the application or if it's been routed incorrectly. It's important to determine the length of your hose while considering the full range of motion the hose may encounter during operation. Dynamic bend radii should always be larger than static because the hose is put through extra strain while in continuous motion. The proper hose length helps distribute movement and prevent bends smaller than the hose's minimum bend radius. Allow enough hose length to accommodate for motion and for changing system pressures. Another common cause of failure in dynamic applications is bending the hose across multiple planes. Although a static hose bent in multiple planes could have a long service life, dynamic motion causes repetitive twisting in the same spot on the hose. This will result in damage to the hose core material or loosening of the end connections and lead to rapid hose failure. Avoid twisting the hose in multiple planes. Ensure that bending occurs in only one plane by using elbows, adapters, and other methods of securing the hose. Proper routing is key in the overall life cycle of your hose. Remember, always follow your manufacturer's minimum bend radius. Use elbows and adapters to relieve hose strain. Properly size your hoses to accommodate dynamic motion and pressure change. And never bend your hose across multiple planes in dynamic applications. By following these simple routing best practices, you can contribute to safer and more reliable hose operation. For more information about hose installation and routing, as well as hose advisory services, contact your local authorized Swagelock Sales and Service Center today.